Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have an Amana here that has locked itself out overnight. Uh, the cold weather is back up here in Canada. We've had a mild couple weeks, but we're sitting at about minus 15 today. So looks like this guy's locked out on a code four. Code four I think is a pressure switch. Uh, anyways, let's get into it. Okay, I was wrong. Code 4 is an open thermal protective device, so it's going to be a rollout or a limit. Um, probably going to be a rollout if it didn't reset itself. A limit would retry, so let's check this rollout. Yeah, we got an open rollout, so um, I'm going to check the heat exchanger right away, make sure everything's okay there. Um, this is only a 10-year-old Amana stainless steel heat exchanger, so should be fine, but we'll start it up, see if uh, anything looks suspicious here, and then we will check a few things. motor doesn't sound too good. So anytime I have an open rollout, I like to take a flue reading, just make sure the parts per million in the CO is not wicked high. Um, if this furnace was plugged up, it would have high CO, that could cause a rollout, but so far, so good. Um, this one also has a hole already in the plenum, so I took a quick peek in here at the heat exchanger. Everything looks fine. Um, so I'm just gonna let it run for a few minutes and we'll see what happens. So it's been running for about 10 minutes and I'm starting to hear water kind of backing up into the vent motor. I'm not sure if you can hear that on camera, but I think we have a drainage issue here. So uh, pressure switch should catch that, but if it just gets enough water in there that the motor is slowing down, that could cause a rollout. Yeah, we got something going on. There shouldn't be that much water piled up right here. There we go, definitely have something down in that drain. This is the drain for the vent system. Uh, so any water that makes its way into the vent motor gets shot up into that hole on the left. Anything from the top uh, from the vent system goes into that hole on the right. And we definitely have something in there. There we go. I don't even know what that is. It's like a piece of mulch or something. I'm not sure what that is. Well, we'll put it back together and fire it up and uh, just make sure the water is not backing up anymore. I think that's all it was. We'll check this side of the drain too. This is the collector box drain and everything looks good there. I don't see any blockage, maybe a little piece of debris, but nothing serious. Okay, well I just ran the furnace for another 10-15 minutes. Everything's doing well. I don't hear water backing up anymore. And we had no uh, no tripped thermal protective devices, so I think we're good. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, hitting the like button. Really appreciate all the comments, and uh, hope to see you in the next video.